Tell me a little bit about yourself and your background in IoT. So I am Benoit, the Head of Business Development and Customer Relations for uh, Polestar in North America. Um, Polestar is a company uh, which does uh, location-based services, a uh, whole tool suite so that you can deploy, maintain and maintain and manage uh, indoor positioning, geofencing and uh, location-based analytics. And uh, we, uh, we address several verticals, um, retail and malls, airports, all the big transportation hubs, corporate buildings, trade shows, um, corp uh, yeah, so museums, hospitals, uh, any big venues. Uh, and uh, part of, uh, in, we have 10 years of field experience. Uh, we have deployed over 25 countries, 550 venues. Um, and uh, now we deliver about two sites per week. Okay, well let's focus a little bit more on retail. And how is, uh, what are the issues and what are the, what are the challenges that retail is facing today and how is IoT helping them? So in retail today, they, and it's been the case for a couple of years now, they compete fiercely uh, with the online retailers. Uh, so they, they need, to, they need to, to capture the values that they see losing towards the online uh, retailers. And they have an incredible opportunity because they still see uh, big food traffic uh, into uh, their stores or for malls into their, their, their mall. Uh, and uh, they, sti they still see people buying uh, uh, goods with a lot of value. Um, the only problem for them is that they don't have the possibility to benefit uh, of the tools that are available online to the online retailers. They are not able to uh, qualify their audience. Uh, now the food traffic that comes through their door is an unqualified audience. And they don't have any tools to uh, truly engage with them and to truly have a, a dedicated and personal relationship uh, with, with their audience. So then IoT is helping them. In, in what way is then IoT helping them? So uh, with um, IoT and, and in, in my field location-based services, uh, you are able to collect uh, data about the audience and to the behavior, how they use the space, uh, how long they stay, etc. so that you can basically uh, um, understand the path to purchase of the, 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 the audience. Path to purchase. Uh, yeah, that's uh, really important. And, uh, um, and to see, and collecting this data, you can uh, build products or uh, services directed to them. Okay, and, and what is the technology involved? Because, I mean, that sounds very valuable. Yeah, so the, the, now when we talk about uh, the, the technology uh, in, in retail, the IoT, is uh, all about beacons. So beacons uh, became mainstream in 2012 uh, with uh, the iBeacon standard published by Apple. Uh, and from 2012 to today, there have been a lot of proof of concepts and pilot projects to try to understand what uh, it allows and, and what we can what we can do with this technology. And basically, it's uh, first addressed what we call proximity marketing. So uh, if you have a point of interest, you place a beacon, and you are able to say if you are close, near, or far, this, uh, this point of interest. Um, as of today, we have entered a phase uh, with uh, massive uh, commercial deployments. Only uh, we don't do simple uh, uh, we don't do simple proximity marketing. Uh, we do uh, far more than that because uh, proximity marketing and the beacons by themselves, they are just not enough to enable the, the collection of data and to uh, have uh, this uh, engagement with a consumer. So what we do is what we call indoor positioning, uh, geofencing, and uh, location-based analytics. Uh, which is far more precise and enable far more services than what the average proximity marketing uh, can do. Now, that involves any more equipment than just the beacons then, correct? Oh, it involves, so the, if you want to have a truly uh, complete solution, uh, there is first uh, what I call the management platform. So d d depending on what you do, it could be a, a CRM or it could be a CMS. Uh, you have uh, in which you integrate the, co the data that you collect and uh, from which you also manage your marketing campaigns. 
you have to have a mobile app that will host uh, the SDK, uh, so Software Development Kit, that will deliver your location-based services. Uh, uh, and uh, obviously, on-site, in the offline world, you need to have a good communication campaign because you need to raise awareness about these services that you provide to your audience. And talk to me a little bit about the analytics. How does that play a role? So the analytics uh, are really, really important um, to it's, it's the base for having a virtuous cycle. Uh, you first collect data to understand your audience. Once you understand your audience, you are able to uh, have um, personalized, contextualized relationship with them. So to provide them with uh, services uh, dedicated to them or even design products mm. uh, dedicated to them. Uh, and uh, so you increase the fidelity and Hopefully, you increase also the promotion among your audience, and uh, you increase the food traffic uh, and the average uh, cart uh, that the people will buy at your place. So, I mean, it sounds great for the retailers, but how do you motivate the consumers to participate, and what is their participation? What do they need to do? So, the, 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 the first thing is that they need to, to download the, the mobile app, and uh, to download the mobile app and also to keep it on their phone, yeah. you need to deliver a real value to them. Uh, that's why it's really important to, uh, to, to really want a dedicated relationship with your audience, but that's the, the, that's the whole point of doing this. So uh, you, you, uh, you will uh, implement uh, suggestions of, uh, like, you, you can connect that to your loyalty program and give them uh, location-based coupons, for instance. Uh, you can provide them with navigation uh, because uh, the venues get bigger and bigger, and so uh, they need to navigate. Uh, you could in, uh, include uh, social uh, features so uh, they could share their location, such as checking with uh, Foursquare or, or, or Facebook today. Um, there is also sharing their location with their family or friends uh, so that they can uh, meet them on site. Um, there is the tag of their parking spot. So without needing any action from them, just the mobile app running mm. in the mobile phone, it will, when they will park, it will tag the, the parking space. Uh, and once they are done shopping, they can uh, get the navigation, turn by turn navigation toward their, their, their parking space. Okay, okay. Now, how are retailers measuring the return on their investment? Is it strictly an increase in sales or are there other components to it? So for, for, for this dedicated infrastructure, today, uh, as I said, we are entering to the phase of, of uh, commercial deployments. So there is not enough background to uh, be able to derive a quantitative ROI. Obviously, this is what we, 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 we want to, to have. And in every single project we have today, this is something we discuss. Mm. Uh, so basically, there are the, 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 the food traffic is really important. Um, because uh, it's correlated to the uh, average spending of the, U of the people uh, and the conversion rate. Uh, there is also, if you uh, suggest, uh, almost in real time, if you send uh, notifications to your users uh, to uh, influence the traffic toward a given area because there is an event or because uh, there, there is uh, some promotions that you want to share, uh, obviously dedicated, not a spam, uh, you, you, you will measure if they came into the area. Excellent. Well, how can our viewers find out more about you and your company? So you can go online uh, at uh, polestarusa.com. Uh, uh, for, for me, I have a LinkedIn, <laughs> obviously, so Benoit uh, Cousin. Uh, you can, I think you will read it in the profile I'll of the video. The show notes, sure. uh, and, uh, and I invite you uh, to read about the news of uh, Polestar. Yeah, there are a couple of news and uh, press releases uh, with what we do in retail, but uh, overall in, all in a whole bunch of markets. Uh, if you are interested in retail, you might be interested in airports as well or any transportation hubs because the shops are driving value and revenues uh, for, these, uh, for these verticals as well. Excellent, thanks. You're welcome, my pleasure.